over exaggeration of what I'm doing, let's uh, I'm going to do a junk bowl. So we have all this wood from little bits and pieces that I put in a box. So we're going to fill this thing up as much as we can, making sure that little pieces are everywhere. And then we're going to fill it with resin and then we're going to do it. So I'm going to get this all situated. We'll come back, pour some resin. I might have to put some tape over this and pour in the center and let it go out. So I'll be back. I think we're going to try some of this sapphire blue on this from uh, Let's Resin. Did you just see that disappear? <laughs> It'll change colors later while it's doing it. I'm going to put a little bit more in. You see it turning blue? It's turned blue, but I want it darker. Which I probably don't need that much, but... All right, this is not completely filled, but I'm kind of worried about it cracking because it's such a big pour. It's not a huge pour, but it's a big pour for you. And here's what happened. If you pour something, you gotta make Holy <laughs> That is that bullshit Harbor Freight Diablo air thing. It just lets go and pulls everything across the shop. Okay, so here's the problem. When you do a pour, you mix it for three minutes, you put it in here, it starts getting warm, okay? Then if you have to mix another one for three more minutes, this stuff is starting to heat up, and then you pour that into it, it causes it to, to crack. So we're going to go ahead and do this, and we can do another pour if we need to. And we're going to leave that overnight. We'll come back to it. All right, I got this flattened out. I did not want you to watch me do the very unsafe act of using my joiner to do this. So, finding the center.
All right, that is uh, up to 220. And I'm not sure you just heard that. We've got a thunderstorm or afternoon thunderstorms coming in. So I'm going to shut this down, go eat dinner, and be back tomorrow to do it. So, woohoo! Peace! Hey, now I'm going to use some uh, Axe uh, abrasive uh, sanding paste. 
Uh, when you buy this, you also get the Axe Polish Restoration Paste. AxeWoodPaste.com. Right now, use MPC10. You can get 10% off on this. This stuff works like a champ. Ooh, did you hear that thunder right at the right time? Go get Axe Paste! All right, I'm gonna get about six more coat or five more coats of uh, Obi Shine juice on here, and I'll be back. All right, so here it is, the scrap pieces bowl. It uh, turned out pretty nice. I like it. I like the see-through blue. Uh, what I got right here, this one is one that I attempted back when I first started turning resin. It's made with uh, aluminite. Uh, to be fair, I didn't have a pressure pot or nothing, so you can see all the little indentions. And then I tried to use the, that other grit stuff and it got stuck in the holes and it was a disaster. So I've been wanting to do another one like this uh, for a long time and it came out very nice. And the reason that you saw me put my little logo piece in the bottom here is because uh, you can't stamp resin with the branding iron. It just melts it. So, But I think this one came out pretty good. I think it's going to go on my website. Uh, but I appreciate you uh, stopping by. Feel free to head over to my Instagram. Damn fly. Uh, feel free to head on over to my Instagram and my Facebook. Uh, you should have seen them down on the screen down here or prior to this. Um, Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, share the video if you could. It really helps me to get my name out there and to get people watching my videos. And if you do share, I would really appreciate it. All right, until next time, stay cool.